Good morning y'all, Gene Rathman here, trying new stuff guy. This is day two of my $10 survival challenge. So I am in White Shadow right now. As you can see, it's pretty much empty. I don't have any supplies back there to survive on. Uh, so all I do have is down here is my bag from the dollar store. Has those 10 items from it yesterday. Uh, my gallon of water. I do have my first aid kit, uh, dirty floor and my um, everyday carry stuff with a couple of GoPro mounts. So other than that, <clears throat> I am on living on that $10. So I'm heading out there now. It's about uh, 8.35 according to my clock. I should be there in about an hour, hour and a half or so. I'll soon by, say hi to my sister and brother, and then uh, the time will start. So give a comment down below. Do you think I'll make it? I hope so. See you there. Okay, folks, and folks, I'm over here uh, pretty close to where I go camping at. I stopped off at Anna M's spot uh, with my brother Scott over here. And uh, tell me, with this $10 challenge, you think I'll make it 24 hours? No, you're dead. Dead, man? Because no. of the bear? You'll make it. I don't think so. I How long do you think I'll last? I, I think till you go to sleep. How long? <laughs> like four I, hours? I, with what your bed is going to be like? Yeah, no. I don't know what my bed's gonna be like. All you so. have is a drop drop cloth thing. I think you should have got a shower curtain. So you could have wrapped up in the shower curtain while your body needed. Uh, that, well, that's my I plan saw, with the drop cloth. I saw videos of people getting trash bags and like stuffing them with leaves and then laying on that. Mm -hmm. That would have been more comfy. Mm -hmm. All you have is a drop. That's it. <laughs> Nothing to lay on with that can cover you. So you think I'm gonna die or just chicken out? You're gonna. <laughs> Chicken or wuss out. out. You're gonna wuss out. You're gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna be able to I'm sleep. not gonna wuss out. No. Nah. <laughs> I'm not gonna wuss out. We'll see how it goes. But so I got one for me, one against me. I, well, maybe one and a half against me. You're not so. I think you can do it. It's just a matter of. But see, now he's gonna be stubborn because I said no. He's gonna like do it or fib. I'm not a fibber. <laughs> if I wuss out, I'll tell you guys I'm gonna wuss out. So. Ah. Uh, here we go. Okay, it is 11.02, Friday morning. Here is the clock, 11.02 a.m. Uh, 24 hour time starts now to survive for 10 bucks. Uh, only problem is, there's another car here. So I do not know if they are just hiking or camping. I walked down to the campsite just a second ago and uh, there's nothing set up there, so I'm thinking the lady, I saw her earlier with her dog, uh, she might be just hiking, so I'm gonna check with her to see if she's camping or not. If she's camping, I'll move it to another spot, so keep you updated. Alrighty, so the lady that was here, she was just hiking around with her dog. She is not staying, so this is home for the next what, 23 and a half hours, something like that. So, let me show you around what I have to work with here. Flip the screen around. Starting off from White Shadow, which I can't use because I didn't buy it for 10 bucks or less. So, uh, no camping or no fire campfire. So, this might look familiar to some of you viewers from when I was out here last year. Uh, for my Lake Dorothy hike. This is where I came afterwards and I was attacked by all those well to be fair I wasn't attacked uh, they were after my food but I was swarmed and said heck with that so I went back to my sister's place and camped over there for the rest of the day but over here down this nice little path this is just a beautiful place nice little path well maintained. So, this is a new addition, all this hay and stuff. That wasn't here last year. But here's the other no fire campfire. Uh, and someone left some wood. So over here was my tarp and where I hung up my uh, hammock to sleep on. So, not quite sure where I'm gonna sleep yet. Uh, I was hoping my memory was wrong 
and there, there would be a lot of uh, dead trees to pull up and make like a lean to but I'm not seeing a whole lot of options here yet uh, I don't want to cut any trees down just for you know to this challenge so oops. not quite sure yet what I'm going to do for sleeping Anna you might be right um, but as far as I know I'm not gonna give up I'm just gonna wrap up in that uh, that drop cloth it's made out of plastic so it should keep me warm and dry if it does rain again it's, I think it's like 9 by 12 feet so should be plenty of to wrap up in won't be a comfortable night but it will be a night so in the meantime I'm gonna look around and see what I can find for building supplies and grab my my equipment my $10 bag and uh, get changed because right now I'm just wearing sandals and a pair of shorts and this sleeveless shirt so uh, get changed into my camping attire and look around so I can find for building stuff all right y'all here are my supplies for $15 uh, starting over here got my GoPro and other camera just in case I'm gonna film different ways I picked up some extra paper from the dollar store just in case you never know what you might need it for uh, here is my receipt showing I only spent the 10 bucks Get no focus there we go and then of course my other supplies that I bought you got you saw in the other video uh, I got my first aid kit just in case there's my drop cloth my change of clothes I haven't changed yet and my camping boots so if it is not in this picture I cannot use it so I'm gonna try and get set up over there in the woods uh, like I showed you before and uh, see how it turns out oh I want to show you one more thing here bush wookie Heading back and back from my van. Uh, last time I'll be seeing it for the next, you know, day and a half or three quarters of a day, I guess. Uh, look at that, even out in the woods, somebody is always throwing stuff away. Or not throwing it away, but not packing it out. There's always garbage everywhere. So I'll get back to the campsite here and uh, show you what's in the mystery bag. What kind of stuff I have to either help hinder or WTF my situation. So, let's take a walk. I even got my camping hat back on. Let me show you what I did here because if I was watching this video, I don't want to know how this is done. So all I did was I got this jute twine from the dollar store, you saw that strung it across the two trees and uh, I tied it off on each end so I wish I had something right here um, one thing uh, let me be honest with you uh, I would love to have clothespins and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because uh, the bag I just told you about with the mystery stuff inside of it I asked my wife this morning say hey you know uh, did you put anything in the bag? I only feel one thing. And she said, well, yeah. Uh, but I took out the other thing you left in there. So it turns out my son actually put clothespins in the surprise bag for me. And so which would have been perfect. So Anthony, if you're watching this, thank you. That was a perfect idea. I don't know if you meant it to be serious or as a joke, but I could really use them right now. So I would pin that up there really tight. I might make some out of wood or something if I can. 
if I can find the right kind of wood. But uh, keep that in place would have been perfect. So uh, down here, what I did is these, these little tiny pine cones everywhere. These things right here. So what I did is I stuck it behind and I wrapped the jute twine around it. So it looks like this. And I tied it off to a couple branches. So it greets that lean-to look to it. So uh, that's what I did here. So if that helps you in the future to prepare for life or some kind of bug out situation, great. If not, general knowledge like myself works out pretty good. So I'll see if I can find some sticks to make some clothespins to fix that up there. It is now, as you can see it, 1230. It's been here an hour and a half. Uh, there's still a lot of cars driving by, going to uh, Dorothy Lake Trailhead. Uh, so now I just have to hurry up and wait for lunch or dinner. I don't know. I got those two meals. I know what I could do. I can open up my packages. So I'm head back to the van, grab the rest of my stuff, come back over here, and uh, show you what I got. All right, let's take a look and see what I have as my special items. I didn't put them in this bag here, so I couldn't see what was inside. I know my wife gave me something that was bottle shaped. Huh. So lemon oil essential drops. I don't know if this was one of those uh, help me out kind of things or if it was one of those haha ha, lol kind of things, but this could be useful. Let's see. Ooh, smells good though. So if I remember my oils correctly, <laughs> stupid bugs. Uh, has a lot of antibacterial properties to it because uh, it's lemon. Um, it's good for energy, so I could probably put a dropper this, dropper to this in my water. Uh, but I have the one-gallon jug, so if I don't like it, oh, it's gonna be tough. Um, I have to think on that one. So thanks, honey. Let's see what Anna and Scott got me. Oh. <laughs> A deck of cards nice since all I have is you guys to keep me company and uh, you guys don't talk very much this will come in handy so very nice thank you Anna and Scott and uh, Anthony thank you too even though um, I don't have the clips but it's good looking out so that's what I got to work with tonight. Oh, I just thought of something. That water bottle that I found, I could clean that and uh, put the drops in there for my water, see if I like it, instead of doing the whole entire one gallon. Uh, and I could probably use this to clean the bottle too because it has those antibacterial properties. So. I'm gonna try that. Let me show you what I look what I'm looking at here. This place is beautiful. Except for this right here. I like this. Ha, that's better. Beautiful. So, let's add, stay away from me, B. Let's add a couple of droops, a couple of drops of oil in there. Not sure what time dinner's gonna be. Let's see how many drops to put in there. 
Oh, for internal use, dilute one drop in four fluid ounces of liquid. All right, so I can drink it. And this is 16 ounces, so four drops. One, two, three, four. Well, Danielle, I hope this tastes good. Be a nice change of just regular old water. <clears throat> Well, let's see how it tastes. It smells like lemon juice. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Thanks, son. Bush, okay. All right, so. Time is 4.48, so I forgot what time I got here, I think it was 11.30 or so. Uh, anyway, I've been here about five or six hours. Uh, I think it's dinner time, so I'm going to have my Chef Boyardee, and uh, hopefully the wasp won't come back and swarm me with my food. Afterwards, I'm going to go on a little hike to try and find something I can make my candle with that won't burn. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and find a beer can or something around here. I was thinking about using this to put my petroleum jelly into, but I won't be able to um, cut the can down and get enough light, so maybe I can find a beer can or a soda can or something like that around here um, that I can cut that down and make a little container for the Vaseline so I can try and make my candle so that's something to do I'm gonna have dinner and uh, when I'm done with that I'm gonna pack up my garbage take the chair uh, and my headphones back to the Jeep I forgot I was wearing those earlier and uh, keep on going see what I can find out so oh, it's gonna be fun mm, doesn't this look good I didn't, I didn't even think about um, any kind of silver or something, so I'm just going to drink it out and see what happens. Usually do the soup any, with soup anyway. Good. There's so many flies and mosquitoes and stuff here. Extra protein.